A very good morning to all of you class 6. I hope you all are doing very well at home. Welcome back to English class. Today is the 1st of June 2020 and we will continue reading the story The Friendly Mongoose. Children, The Friendly Mongoose is uh, included in the re supplement reader book and this is one of the Panchatantra stories. Panchatantra stories are a collection of thoughts, uh, short stories, Indian stories written in Sanskrit by Indian scholars and authors. Uh, the stories have very important uh, morals to teach and they have uh, animals and birds as mostly animals and birds as central characters okay so as the name suggests the main character in our story is a mongoose and the objective of our class today would be to read understand and comprehend the meaning of the passage and also to include reading and comprehension skills along with enhancing our vocabulary enhancing vocabulary means to improve our vocabulary how will we improve our vocabulary children by learning new words and using those words in our daily conversation okay so these would be the learning objective of our class so let us Continue reading the story and I will do the explanation. In the last class, children, we read about a farmer, his wife and their small child who lived in a village. Then one day the farmer brings a baby mongoose home and he says that this mongoose will be a good companion, a good friend uh, to our son when he grows up. So this is how they have a mongoose as a pet at home. And in about five to six months, the mongoose grows into a fully grown, baby mongoose grows into, uh, grows up in a fully grown mongoose. And it is very beautiful. It has two shiny eyes and bushy tail. Uh, but the farmer's son was still a baby because animals, they grow faster than human, right? So one day the farmer's wife said that she is going to the market. She has fed the baby and rocked him to sleep in his little cradle. Rocked him to sleep means to... Rocked him to sleep means he has uh, made the baby sleep, okay? And uh, she says that she is going to the market. The baby is sleeping. So take care of the baby. And she says that I am not very comfortable leaving uh, the child alone with the mongoose. But the farmer says that you don't need to worry a little bit. A mongoose is a very friendly animal. And it is as sweet as our own son. So this is still here we read it. Let us read the remaining part. The wife went away and the farmer having nothing to do in the house decided to go out and take a look at his fields not far away. He ran into some friends on the way back and didn't return for quite some time. So we see that after his wife went, uh, the farmer he went to the field to uh, um, uh, to see his to check his field, and while coming back, he ran say ran into some friends. That means to meet some friends. Uh, he met some friends on the way back, and he did not return for some time. Now let us read the next paragraph. What is there in the next paragraph? The farmer's wife returned home from the market carrying a heavy basket. So we will see in the next paragraph that the farmer's wife will return home with a heavy basket 
because she went to do, to do some marketing. She found the mongoose at the entrance of the house with blood on his face and paws. She jumped to the conclusion that it was her son's blood and the mongoose was the guilty one. So this is what we are going to read in the next paragraph. The farmer's wife finished her shopping and came back home with a basket full of groceries. She saw the mongoose sitting outside as if waiting for her. On seeing her, he ran to welcome her as was customary. The farmer's wife took one look at the mongoose and screamed. Blood! she cried. The face and paws of the mongoose were smeared with blood. You wicked animal! You have killed my baby! she screamed hysterically. She was blind with rage and with all her strength brought down the heavy basket full of groceries on the blood smeared mongoose and ran inside to the child's cradle. The baby was fast asleep but on the floor lay a black snake torn and bleeding. In a flash she realized what had happened. She ran out looking for the mongoose. Oh, you saved my child. You killed the snake. What have I done? She cried, touching the mongoose who lay dead and still, unaware of her sobbing. The farmer's wife, who had acted hastily and rashly, stared long at the dead mongoose. Then she heard the baby cry. Wiping her tears, she went to feed him. So, this is the end of the story. We, what do we see in the second part is that the farmer's wife has returned home after finishing her shopping and she comes home with a heavy basket full of groceries. And when she reaches home, she saw the mongoose sitting outside waiting for her. And on seeing the uh, um, farmer's wife, the mongoose ran to welcome her as customary. Customary means something which is uh, usually done. So if you have pets at home, you will see if you have a pet dog at home, whenever you come home, the pet dog, the dog will come to welcome you, right? So the mongoose also ran out to welcome the farmer's wife. Uh, but what uh, does sh the farmer's wife see? She saw the mongoose and screamed blood she screamed she cried blood the face and paws of the mongoose were smeared with blood please underline these few words children smeared smeared means to be uh, marked messily or to applied messily okay uh, with blood so the face of the mongoose and the paws of the mongoose was smeared with blood so it was blood on the face and on the paws there are two words i would want you to underline here customary and smeared okay please underline these two words so uh, i'm seeing that the farmer's wife screamed you wicked animal underline this word wicked wicked means somebody who is evil right someone who is evil he says that you evil animal you have killed my baby she screamed hysterically hysterically would mean to uncontrollable okay something which you cannot control okay so hysterically and she was blind with rage rage you can underline this word also rage means violent anger she was very very angry and she got violent and with all her strength, she brought down the grocery, the heavy grocery bag on the mongoose. So the, when, the far, when the farmer's wife, she saw mongoose sitting and waiting for her with the blood on its face and paws. She thought that the mongoose is a wicked animal who has killed her baby and without thinking she was so uh, angry she was so angry that she uh, 
brought down the heavy back of basket on the mongoose and she ran inside to check on her son but she saw that the child was fast asleep and on the floor lay a black snake torn and bleeding she saw a, a snake you can see in the picture also uh, she saw a dead snake and then she realized what has happened she realized that the blood on the mongoose uh, face and paws was not of her child but of this snake which the mongoose had killed so she ran out looking for the mongoose we can see outside the door mongoose is mm -hmm. uh, uh, mongoose is dead under the heavy basket and then she says oh you saved my son she had understand the mongoose had saved her son and she he the mongoose had killed the uh, snake now the wife realized that she has acted without thinking right without thinking children please understand uh, underline this word sobbing sobbing means crying okay and hastily hastily means uh, without very quickly okay very quickly and rashly rashly means carelessly okay so she uh, the farmer's wife she realized that she has act without thinking and she has acted very carelessly, too quickly, without uh, without thinking, and without understanding the whole situation. And her action, her careless action or her hasty action, has killed the mongoose. So this is the end of the story. I hope you all have enjoyed the story. Uh, children please write down these words which I have given today few words I gave you in the last class also let me show you the words okay these are the few words we have new words which we have learned today customary smeared wicked hysterically rage grocery hastily and rashly so these are the new words in the last class we have learned new words companion alternately frankly pet lovely right this is a few new words i would want all of you to write it down in your notebooks okay so this will be the end of the class children i hope you have understood the story in the next class i will uh, discuss the question answers of this lesson all right Okay then, thank you students.